Hey guys, Derpa here, back with another Battle Pirates video. In this one, I'm going to show you how to go from a low level with a few basic ships to be able to hit the first tier in the FM fairly easily with a couple of grinding time. And this is going to focus on ways to get resources here so you can start building those first ships you need to hit the first targets. So the first fleet I'm going to show you here is my Mortar Marauder fleet. And this one, I used to go into the level 17 or level 20 through salvages, and with some good driving, you can kill these and get some resources out of them. I have more breakdown vid of a video that explain this more in depth with talking about um, all the different tricks you have to use, link that in the description. But this first fleet here, you should be able to build it pretty easily with some basic resources, basic tech you have here. I'll show you the build in just a second. But you can go in, you can hit these salvages, and this is going to be your starter fleet. You're going to grind on this a couple times until you can kill all these salvages here. And the great thing about these ships is they're instant repair if you build them right, which means it's under five minutes of repair for the ship. So you don't have to spend any money. If, it, if, you, if you mess up, if it dies, it's all free. As far as the build goals, um, I have some different stuff on my ships, but this is the one I'm going to suggest to all you out there. You're going to want to use mortars in the two weapon slots, specifically the diplomat mortar, probably number two, number three, number four, if you can afford it, in those slots there. And as far as specials, you want high explosive shells because that will increase your splash. So this ship here, if you build five of them, takes four or five hours each. It's going to be able to go in there and kill some stuff, get some nice resources for you. That's going to be your workhorse, workhorse and you can kill, until you can build and refit and research all the other ships you need for this next set. And that next one is the Predator Submarine. So this one's kind of expensive to unlock, but once you get it, it'll be worth it because you'll be able to do this for no damage if you drive right. I just have a random longship in here as a flagship. You can have a gunboat, you can have anything in there. But you have your four subs here, and this is sped up. It's not on. It's on two times, so it's not real, real life. Um, but you go in there, you go through all those ships, and you're killing them with your torpedoes. Once again, if you mess up, as I will in this one, it's still instant repair, which is free. And this is a level 40 salvage. You can kill level 51 below if you're good. But level 40, it's not too difficult. It gets you some nice resources and some nice blueprints, which is really good. And one of the things you're going to want to do as a lower level is to get a lot of blueprints so you can get a lot of tech going. And for that, you need to kill a bunch of salvages over and over and over. And like I said here, this one's pretty easy. I'll leave a link to me doing it uh, better and with more detailed guide in the description for these salvages. This is just showing you the general guide, general pathway. You can see here I'm just kiting around this other ship. When I'm submerged, he can't see me or shoot at me. But when I'm surfaced, he can see, see me, and he has mortars, which you just spot. So if I mess up and slow down too much, he can fire at me and shoot me and kill me. But like I said, not a big deal because it's instant repair. But killing level 40 salvages is going to start getting you more resources than the level 23s or whatever. As far as build goals for the build build uh, goes for the Predator sub, you want two Havoc 4s and an engine. Um, best engine you have, if you have engine 2 unlock, use it if somehow you get speed system, probably worth it. This is a really simple build, takes a couple hours to build, build four of them, plus a flagship, build you fine. And like I said, they are instant repair, so if you mess up here, you can just instant repair them under five minutes, it's 100% free. So that's going to be your workhorse for quite a while to get enough resources to upgrade your warehouses and build and upgrade, unlock them some sea wolves and missiles. This is my sea wolf fleet, you notice it's not even ranked, which means it's basically fresh. And this is a level 51 salvage, you go in here, you start kiting them, you start running around, um, killing them pretty easily. This is a really nice one. You can do it for no damage. It's really nice. And this is one going to want to be what you're going to use for the longest time because you need a lot of resources at a lower level to unlock the Citadel, which is what I'll talk about in just a minute. But this is what allows you to go in there and get all that stuff. You will have to build some other ships with a high cargo capacity um, just so you can count or get, so you can drag stuff between the salvages and your base. And a lot of things, too, if you need help with resources, higher level players, if you ask nicely and say, hey, I'm trying to unlock this, they'll help you. But this is just showing you how to do it for yourself if you want to do that. This is my Seawolf build here. You want the same engine on there as you can, best engine you have. If you have engine 2, engine 1, you're probably not going to have engine 3 unlocked at that point. But you're going to want to use that. You're going to want to use Cutlass 3s because they have the best accuracy, best damage per second, damage per accuracy, whatever. Just use those ones. And for specials, you want laser targeting, you also want an engine, you also want a solid fuel booster to increase your range there. That's my quick and dirty Seawolf build. It's going to be a workers for a long time. It takes over a day to build, but it'll be worth it. And the main factor here that's limiting you is going to be resources, which is why I'm talking about all this. 
So the most important buildings you need to focus on are your warehouses, so you can hold enough stuff, as well as your weapons lab, your naval lab, your advanced lab, and your blueprint lab, so you can use blueprints once you get like level 5 if you need it. And that's going to be the most important part there, as well as your dock for shipyard weight. This is all so you can unlock and build the citadel from the foundry, which takes millions of resources, but it's worth it, it's a great hole. If you have to sell for the berserker instead, that's okay too, but I find the citadel significantly better. Once you get the citadel, you're going to want to build it. I'll show you that just after this clip here. But this is a clip of a level, of a level 40 research garrison, which is being done with my citadel on auto here. And this is going to get you 2,500 points, which is going to be enough for some decent level stuff in the Forsaken mission. You go in here, you hit these targets with this build I'm going to show you, and you'll be able to get, some, even with bad driving here, this is 100% on autopilot. Just press the S key, it goes on auto. And you can kill it, get some damage, if you enter in the right spot about... 8 o'clock on the map or whatever, and you'll be able to go in there, kill it with some mortars, and that's going to get you started in your second mission thing. But to unlock that first, you need to go through the whole rigmarole of getting all enough resources from all that stuff, which is why I showed you in the first couple minutes of this video. So here's the build for my Citadel now. It's uh, using Blueprint Tech, which means you have to go into the Blueprints level 40 salvages, level 51 salvages, kill enough of them or get lucky enough so you can have blueprints if you have a lucky bastard screw that helps too. Anyway, as far as build goes, like I said, you want to use a shockwave mortar, not a blueprint one. Shockwaves are much better, they deal way more damage. If you have to tell for blueprint one, whatever. And as far as specials go, you want engine two or best engine you have. High yield warheads to increase splash damage, reactive armor to to prevent penetrating damage and thruster three and guidance scrambler three to help with evading turn speed. That's my build here. You can pause it here. You don't need any armor and uh, that works well. You get about 30 minutes damage for most of these targets here. You can find them in locator if that helps. So I hope this video helped you. I'll have more coming down in the future showing my progress on this low level count trying to get up to the tiers of the second mission which is going to be super important. So I hope this video helped you. I'll have more coming down in the future showing my progress on this low level count trying to get up to the tiers of the second mission, which is going to be super important. So remember to hit that subscribe button. And if you liked it, make sure you leave a like. This is Derpy signing out, helping you be a better pirate.